Hi everybody, this is Tim Schaefer from Double Fine Productions. I'm going to show you a little bit of the introduction to our game, Brutal Legend. Picking up in the uh, opening cutscene, just after Eddie Riggs, our hero, and uh, Rhodey for a heavy metal band is injured in a stage accident. He gets a little blood in his belt buckle. His belt buckle turns out to a talisman of ancient evil, comes to life, and it's the fire beast Ormagodon who screams so loud it tears the fabric of space and time and pulls Eddie back to the Age of Metal. So you missed that part because you haven't bought the game yet. You'll see that in the actual game, and it'll be awesome. The day has finally come for us to serve our master. But uh, this part of the cutscene is pretty awesome, too. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm not your master. No, you are not. Did I mention that's Jack Black? Jack Black is in our game, and it's awesome, and he does a really great job. So whereas a few seconds ago, Eddie was at a regular rock concert in the modern day, surrounded by a crowd and a band, now the crowd is a pile of bones, and the band is a bunch of evil druids, and everything that used to be a fake prop is now real. And uh, if anything were to happen to me, he'd be super pissed. Stay the fuck away from me with that thing. Hey! I should probably warn you, our younger uh, viewers, that there's some harsh language here. I could try and bleep it out with my own voice as it goes. And yeah, he told me to come out here and tell you guys you're doing a great job. You can totally take the rest of the day off. No, I'm not gonna do that. Be still. I just don't want you guys to get in trouble. You know. With... Ow. Master's not gonna like this. Okay, whoever's playing this needs to go pick up that axe right now. Do you see the axe over there? To the right. There's like an axe. Yes. The separator is an ancient axe that Eddie finds when he. Uh, arrives in the Age of Metal, which gives him a, a combo moves like that, and plus a charged attack that he can use to break through his enemies who are blocking his attacks. It's good for decapitating druids, among other things. But that's not the uh, only weapon that Eddie has in this world. Um, he actually brought something back with him in time. Get away from that guitar! I just tuned that thing. His guitar, Clementine, which was a totally normal, average, run-of-the-mill guitar in the modern world, but here in this world of rock, it's amplified by the world itself and has powers. It can um, summon electricity and power techniques and other stage show effects, but instead of just for show, they actually do damage. Send people up in the air, electrocute them, send people up in the air again, and uh, lots of other moves that are unlocked during the game. And a lot of those other moves allow you to use the axe and the guitar together in rapid succession to do interesting combinations of moves. And there you can stun the enemy with electricity and then use your charged axe attack to knock them out with one hit. The Earthshaker is a uh, power cord so heavy that it shakes the entire world. It sends enemies back and also uh, brings down some of the looser elements in the environment. And if you use these attacks too much, your guitar starts to heat up and glow, like you can see. So you can't um, overuse your lightning or you'll burn your fingers. Like Jack just explained just then. So at this point, Eddie and the player hopefully realize he's not in the uh, modern world anymore. He's in some place much more barbaric and strange and awesome looking. We tried with this game to make every piece of concept art and every screenshot look like it could be the cover of a heavy metal album, um, like this awesome corpse pile. And that helped us choose what to put in the game and what not. Can we have modern elements? Should they all be medieval looking? Well, if they were ever on the cover of a heavy, heavy metal album together, then we can have them. We can have gas masks, we can have battle nuns, we can have right, anything nice that looks cool. Lady, or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon. Kind of sexy, though, in a weird way. Hmm. So we have a target lock system in the game. The player holds on the trigger and can focus on one enemy at a time, which allows them to uh, do evasive maneuvers around them, strafe around, focus their ranged attacks from their guitar on them. 
And then using the right stick, they can switch between targets if there are multiple enemies stacking them. I think I heard once that killing nubs is bad luck. I'd better get out of here. So a lot of the enemies, uh, or at least a lot of the strange creatures you meet uh, during the game, can actually be tamed and ridden, uh, including this strange uh, creature over here. It's some sort of evil altar on legs, and Jack does a really funny prayer here to get it moving. Well, here goes. Prayer of evil. Oh, oh man. Gotta get this thing moving. Let's see here. Dear evil, messed up demon powers of darkness. Uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish, but I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh, lords of gross leather things. Um, evil, uh, oh, powerful, majestic, slithering? Uh, hev no, not heavenly. Then S&M type wear. You know, you guys really have style. That battle nun? <laughs> she was hot. Uh, sorry about killing her. Uh, but you're evil though, right? So we're cool. I didn't even know I could do that with an axe. I have no idea why my... By your good graces... Uh-oh. Ah, I meant evil! Evil grace! Ah, son of a... Oh, nice cheater move, guys. Really cool. Oh man, don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. So you come for it as well. No, but these guys jumped me and... Hang on. And it was just sitting there, so... You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? But I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, right shoulder. <gasps> We've got to get out of here before he arrives. Yeah. So the allies you meet along the way, most of them can do what's called a double team attack, which means you can go up to them, press the Y button, Wait. and you will combine in some way, maybe pick them up, or maybe just get involved in them in some way that will allow you to do a special attack that only the two of you can do uh, together. Um, they're more powerful than the acts you can do by yourself, and every uh, friendly person you meet has a different one that they can do, and so you have all these choices in the battle of uh, which of these double team attacks to use. As well as your guitar attacks, like there, you use the Earth Shaker to drop that engine on that nun, which is a really good way to kill a nun. By the way, I'm not advocating the actual killing of nuns with engines with this game or commentary. Unless, of course, they're demonic and they have zipper faces and um, really bad breath. The Grand Slam is another combo you learn where you can pop up your enemies into the air with pyrotechnics and then smack them into the bleachers of infinite pain. And I would totally demo that right here, but I am not managing to pull off a Grand Slam. Okay, I'll do it later. It's gonna be awesome. Follow me! This way! We have to get to the door before the... Too late. Take a look outside. 